this is a 0.37 kilowatt little plain and simple pump. Also uh, a cast pump head, so be aware not to use it on any corrosive water, which has a high salt content or a um, low pH, so preferably stay over about a pH of 7.2. One thing we just noticed is setting this one up is it's not as good as its bigger brothers um, at self-priming. So you really do need to make sure you get water in here in here first and get it primed before it'll start up. Otherwise, it just drips out. But yes, let's have a look look at what um, what we've got here. Firstly, if we close all our shower heads there. It's building, building up pressure up into it's about 3.3 bars. So it's not that high pressure. And let's see if it's, if, and there it's, it switched itself off, which is good. If we then run a single shower, we drop down to about 1.7 bar. Mm. At about 13 liters per hour. If we add a second shower, ooh, we immediately get a massive drop in um, pressure compared to what we normally see with the showers running there. And yes, we've dropped to about 0.8 bar. So this is really a single shower. Two showers is pushing it a bit for this one. If we open a third one, there we drop to very, very little flow and we're dropping down to 0 0.3 bar on our, our gauge there and we maxed out at 25 liters per minute now with these little um, dump pumps one of the things to consider is that um, if, the, if it's switched off and you open up the supply you've got a little bit of a lag before the pump's pressure pressure switch kicks in and you get a bit of pressure so if you have a look at the water coming out of the shower you'll see it'll be a little bit and then it'll uh, it'll be a little bit from the pressure in the pipes and then it'll pick up only once the pump starts going so if we open quickly you see it starts and then it then it picks up all right then if we look at power consumption for this unit let's have a look here if we running one shower, so this is one shower maximum open. Oh, actually very close to its rated capacity. We're at 350 watt. If we open a second shower, it seems to be staying around that region. It's actually dropping a little bit to 317 watt. And then with these dump pumps, what we've seen in the past is if you run them at a very low flow rate, they actually draw more power. So let's see if this one behaves the same. If we're running it partially open there, running at 380 watt, ooh, there it's climbing to 450 watt, so we're going over its rated capacity. And if you have something very slightly only running, um, like say a filter system running or appliance just drawing a little bit of water, then yeah again we're seeing 500 watts on the little little unit and it's actually switched off and because it's still some water going there we go then, then you'll find with the dump pumps they'll switch off turn on switch off turn on and you'll see that in the water flow as well if you're only using a little bit of water it'll pressure will pick up and then pressure will drop to get around this um you would need to add a, a pressure tank in in line as a buffer that it has some kind of a buffer that's more than just the pipes to store store the press in or go to something like a variable speed drive which will actually just turn the pump slower if you're using only a small amount of water